Hi again, I'd like to continue uh, the discussion of creating mockups in, in Xcode using Storyboard. And, um, you know, in the last video, we kind of mocked up this login screen with a username and a password. Um, and we used the custom button class to create a, or, you know, to allow us to add rounded corners and a stroke to the buttons, right? Um, and you, you can experiment with that because you can have both the fill and the color. Just remember that you'll need to set the stroke color up th and width at, up at the top and the fill colors way down here at the bottom under the view section, you know, when you're editing your button, right? Um, so that looks good. Let's do something else here, right? So let's imagine, I'm going to add another, you know, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm going to go down to the to the area here where we have all the objects, right? And what I want to do is I want to grab the, um, the view controller. Make sure you're on this one right here with the circle and the little square, right? So I'm going to grab another view controller. This is just an empty view controller. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to make, like, let's say something like a profile page, okay? So I'll resize this so that it's, you know, the iPhone 6 size, okay? And um, let's imagine, you know, I want a colored area at the top, and then I want my profile picture in a circle that kind of cuts it in half. Like, you, I've seen that in other sites, right? Let's kind of mock that up, okay? So, uh, so what I'll do first is to create a, a colored area, just like a box, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and then go up a little ways, and you'll find an item called view. This is actually... UI view, right? See, so it says UI view right there, okay? This is the one we want. So we're going to drag this into our our view controller here, our new one, and we can't really see it because it's a white box on a white background, right? So what we'll do is we'll, you know, grab the corners and kind of expand it a little bit like this. And then you can, the one thing you can do with the UI view is set the background color. So, you know, when I have the view selected, if I look in the attribute inspector here, we're on this, this one right here, right? Um, we can set the background color. So why don't we give this a color? Let's make it kind of, uh, kind of red like that, right? And there we go, right? So now let's imagine we want to add an image, right? So how do we add an image to a view? Well, we're going to scroll up a little ways further, and we're going to find this guy right here, image view. This is actually UI image view, right? I'm waiting for the little box to pop up. There we go, UI image view, okay? And this allows you to put a picture into your... Um, your page, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the image view here and drag it out onto the page there and I'll resize it and you can see the numbers that pop up there so maybe I want to resize it so it's like a hundred and I don't know, 120 by 120 maybe. Right? So that's pretty close. Oh, there's 120 by 120 and then I'll drag it and kind of align it here so it's maybe halfway into the other view, right? And you can actually use this little metric inspector, the little ruler here, and you can type in the the width and the height if you want. You know, so if you're having trouble sizing it, you can just type the numbers in, right? Here's a little note. Uh, go to this little button here, right, in the lower left of the of the editor, and this shows you an outline view. So these are kind of like the layers that make up your view, okay? And the main area of the view, like the background of the whole view here, is another UI view. So this is the UI view that we created, the red area here. And then you can see this view is actually inside of a view here. So UI views are containers, and you can put things in them. And so, you know... The, the view controller has a UI view as its main container, and whenever we're adding objects into the into the view controller, they're going into that um, into the view controller's view, right? Okay, and we can actually add things to the view here. So if I wanted to make this, you know, picture kind of a child object of this red box right there, I could drag it and kind of place it inside the red box, and now you can see it's kind of nested. In this case, I'm not going to do that, but just remember you can do that, because that's actually very useful sometimes, okay? 
I'm going to put this back where it was, right? Okay. So what else can you do here? Um, let's see. We've got this uh, this image view. Let's put a picture in there, right? So I have a picture on the desktop. I want to um, do this as kind of like a profile page, right? So uh, I have this picture of me right here. It's just a JPEG. You can use PNGs work best. Um, they kind of recommend those because they're loss, like they're compressed, but they're lossless. You know, the quality's better. I just have this JPEG here, so I'm going to use this. Um, to get an image into your Xcode project, just drag it into the file area here, OK? And um, when you let go, you'll get this, um, this little box right here. And it'll ask you, do you want to copy the items if needed? And you're going to always check this, OK? And what will happen, what'll, what'll happen here is it will copy this file into the Xcode project and leave the original on the desktop. If we don't check this, the, the Xcode project will always be referencing the original file. And if you move the original or delete it or put it in another folder or something, then your project will lose track of it and it'll show up missing here, OK? So if we copy it, then it'll have a copy inside the project and it won't need the original, OK? So anyway, make sure you check that so it looks like mine. And then click Finish. OK, so now there's our image there. And you can see here it is in my project there, right? OK. And to get the image to show up inside the image view here, what we'll do is we'll you know, click on the image view there. You, sometimes when you Im if you have this selected and you import an image, you'll need to deselect it, like click outside somewhere, and then click on it again. And then you'll be able to choose the image from the menu here. And you can see when I go to the image view here, it says image. And then if I click the little menu here, there's image.jpg, which is my file. OK? And there's my picture, right? So that looks pretty good. Um, it's a little out of proportion, though, right? It's kind of getting squashed. So the whole picture is getting forced into a square. And the original picture we saw was sort of a portrait-like rectangle, right? So what we want to do is we want to set the mode for display. So images in Xcode, um, you know, the image view can display images in a lot of different ways. The mode determines, like, kind of how it does it. Um, and there's a few options here. Actually, there's more than a few. But uh, the one that we want to use is this one, Aspect Fill. And Aspect Fill um, makes the image fill the whole area of the image view, but um, keeps the aspect ratio. If you choose Aspect Fit, the image will fit inside, and you'll see the entire thing. But then you might have some empty space, right? So um, Aspect Fill doesn't leave any empty space. But in this case, maybe some of the image gets cropped off, right? OK, so that looks OK. Now, again, you know, just like with the button, the image view um, doesn't give us a whole lot of options. You can actually set the background color on the image view and a few other things, but you can't set the, the corner radius or put a border on it, OK? So what I'm going to do is, um, and you can, you can do those things. You just can't do it here right, right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my site, and I'll put a link to this in the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my gist hub here. And I'm going to find an item called custom image view. OK? And here's the code. It's, it's not that long. I'm going to just copy the code here. Make sure you get everything. You can't miss this um, last curly brace at the bottom. And I'll just copy all the code here. Copy. And then I'll go back to Xcode. Choose File, New File. And what I want to do is I want to go to iOS, Source, and I want to choose Swift File. And I'll click Next. And I'll call this one Custom Image View. OK, no special characters or any funny business in the name. Let's just keep it all just characters, right? OK, just letters. Um, and then I'll click Create. And there's our file, custom image view. And what I'll do is I'll just paste it here, right? And again, this one um, is a, a subclass of UI image view. So this is an image view, just like we have on the on in Storyboard in our view controller. And it's 
IB designable. So any changes that we make here or any of the changes that this class allows will be um, updated in Storyboard. And then it has a few features that are IB inspectable, so it's going to add some properties to um, Storyboard that we can edit there. Okay, So we'll save it and then um, go back to Storyboard. And I'll select the image view. This is the same process with the button. So I'll click on the image view. I'll click on the little newspaper up here. And where it says custom class, and it has the class field here, we'll type in custom image view. And you can just type, start typing the name, and you'll see Xcode code hint or code complete the name for you. So, um, so we'll hit return just to make sure that it gets that change there. And then we'll switch back to the property inspector, and then you'll see that we have three new properties at the top, which are border color, uh, border width, and border radius, right? So why don't we try that out? Maybe I'll set the border color here to, um, I'll make it black for now, and then I'll set the border width to, I don't know, seven pixels, right? And there we've got a, a border, right? Um, that doesn't look that great. Um, maybe let's try the corner radius. Now, I made this 120 by 120. So um, to get it to be round, you know, I could do a square with kind of rounded corners. Or maybe I'll do it as um, a circle by making the, the radius here 50% of the size. So if it's 120, we'll make it 60 for the corner radius, right? Um, it's hard to position the image in here. You can't really do that or not easily, but uh, but this works pretty good. So if your image is cropped well, then it should just fall right in there. But anyway, there's our um, there's our our custom image view, right? And then you could add other stuff to this to this profile page. So maybe you know we want to mock up uh, you know the username. I'll put a, a couple labels in here. Maybe there you know some other preferences that they have. You know. And then maybe if you want to put a like a close button or something, we could put a button down here at the bottom, and this could be, you know, done or something, right? And then again, you know, this button could use the custom button class. So, uh, you know, I can go to here and type in custom button, and I'll make this button a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll give it a... Uh, Two pixel border width and a color, and uh, let's give it um, a height of fifty, and then we'll make the ends round by giving it a corner radius of twenty-five. Okay. So anyway, and then you could change the text color too. So anyway, that would get you started there, and you could type in mock up some. Uh, you know, um, some username stuff here, like type in someone's name, and then you could type in the date they started, you know, uh, February 6, 2016 was my, you know, my registration date, you know. You know, and then you could set the fonts um, here also, right? So, you know, if you... Maybe this is going to be a headline font, so I'll click on this and uh, go to the, you know, I've got the label selected, and I'll go to the tab here. And if I want to use the Apple system fonts, I'll choose one of the system fonts. Maybe I'll call this like a head heading title number one. I'll have to make it a little bit bigger. And then I can move this up a little bit. You know what I mean? So you could design all that stuff, and then you, you're kind of seeing what your project might look like, right? Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that's helpful, and uh, I'll continue this, and we'll do a few more things in, in the next couple of videos, okay?